Welcome everybody to another episode of Coding with Ado. Today, we're gonna connect to Google Text-to-Speech. The idea of this library is to transform a text into an MP3 audio that we can use on different projects. Specifically for this project that we have been doing for this week, we first grabbed a stock video, second, we added some text to that video and some music, Third, today we're gonna add some text to speech, some voiceover to those videos. In this episode, we're only gonna connect to Google Text to Speech. Tomorrow, we're gonna integrate everything. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna create the package. Um, we are going to connect to Google Text to Speech. And we need to install the package. So npm install Google Cloud. Yeah, I think it's a text text to speech. And let me see text to ah, speech speech. loading everything. Meanwhile, let's create the index.js. Okay, and we're gonna do a const text to speech equals to require Google Cloud text to speech. Okay. Uh, for this, we are not gonna use uh, API keys, we're gonna use uh, Google service accounts. So we're gonna need a JSON file. Uh, that we'll put it in here, but we first need to grab that. So let's first uh, do everything else and then at last get the key. Uh, we're gonna use FS because we're gonna write an MP3 file. Uh, so require FS. Okay, I have the FS installed globally, but you can go ahead and do npm install here. So you can have it in your package. Okay. Um then what else? We need to create the client equals to new text to speech dot text to speech client. Okay. Uh, let's create the function. Make it async function uh, transform text to speech with Google. I'm doing this because as I'm gonna export this as a package, um, I want to be able to say like, okay, this is from Google Text-to-Speech Google, if in the future we do some other text-to-speeches, okay? Uh, we're gonna put the text here. We're gonna put, um, what else do we need from here? I think we only need, oh, and the output. Output file. Okay, so we're gonna do. Oh, uh, we're gonna do a const response equals to an away client dot synthesize speech, and in here we'll have a request. So let's build this request. Okay, so the request. Is gonna be an object that has the input text, which will be a um, text. Actually, it's a text. It's an object that has text, text. A voice. So in here is where you actually say in which language do you want and everything. I'm gonna grab the default, which is the language A to be in US. And yes. A SSML gender, it's gonna be a male, a neutral male. Okay, in here you could do there are a lot of like synthesized voices. You can do adult men, adult woman, baby, or different types of SSML genders. You can check that out in the in the documentation. I'll set add the link below. Um, on the audio config. It's gonna be a 
audio en co audio en coding that will be an mp3 ok ah, ok eh, actually it's mp3 in uppercase perfect so we have the request we have the response now we need to write the file so we're gonna do an fs dot write file um, it's all right about sync. So we return the function when this finishes. And here we need the output file and the response.audio. Audio. Audio content. Let's do a console log. So we know what we're we working with in the response. Okay. Um, what else am I missing? I think there's something else here. And the options for the right. Oh, yeah, let's do a binary. Okay. So, we create a request, we synthesize it, we write the file, and then we could do like a return something. Uh, let's return the output file, for example. Okay, let's do a function here. And let's do transform text to speech with Google. Test text I want to hear. And the other file, let's say output.mp3. Okay. And so now we need one more thing. So what do we need? Because if we run this, it's not sending anything. Let's clear this out. Let's do it again. Um, oh, we're missing two things. First, our always try catch because if not, we don't know what's going on. Okay. Um. And we are missing, let's see what else. Oh, this should be a wait. The same function, doing this. Oh yeah, we are missing something. So we are missing the the keys from the text of speech. Okay, so let's add them. So one thing that we're missing here is the code of the function that's why it wasn't doing anything and now when we call it you can see that we are missing the credentials okay so yeah let's go and grab them okay so in order to grab them uh, we are going to need to go to our google cloud console so let me open a browser here uh, cloudgoogle.com we have the comparison coding with Taro. Let's go to API and services. So we need to do two things. We need to first enable the library. So we go to libraries. We search here TTS, which is text to script, text to speech, uh, text to speech. So it's cloud text to speech API. And I already enabled that, but yeah, you click on enable. And then you go to the API services, the credentials. You create your your service account. Let's do coding with Ado TTS. Create and continue. Select a role. Uh, let's do ATAR. Continue. Done. 
and we have coding without ETS. We click on the link. We go to keys. We go to add key. Create new key. JSON create. We grab the file and we push it in there. We can rename it so it's easier. Okay. And now there's something interesting. So in order for us to get to those keys, we could do something like this. Process.env dot Google application credentials equals to coding with add session. So what's, what we're doing here is we are actually adding some uh, config files into the dot .env, but not our dot .env because we don't have any dot .env here. The dot .env from a Google Cloud text to speech. So basically, we, if we go to Google Cloud here, uh, we are adding a environment variables into this project, okay? We are not doing it like for our project, we are adding it into the Google Cloud project, okay? So we are adding the coding with Adobe. so now if we do run it, um, something wrong with my configurations, let me see, oh, it's language code. Okay, cool. The data must not be a type of string. As you okay, yeah. So this is um, this is responding as a um, buffer. So let's actually re return in the array. Okay, because we want this. Okay, perfect. So now we have the audio content. We have the file outputted here. Okay. Test text I want to hear. So it is saying text test I want to hear. Okay. Which is test test I want to hear. Um, so yeah. And we have the file. Uh, we don't need the response anymore in here because we actually have the file here. So yeah, we have the file. We created it. We integrated it. Uh, and that's it for today. So thank you very much for watching, uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any requests for any future video, let me know. But for now, see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.